Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Joe Figueroa with another video in our series Anatomy of a Dance, where I break down social dancing count for count, pointing out all the dancers do. This week's video I wanted to talk about a concept that I refer to a lot and use in my workshops, that the follow follows the hand. And a leads understanding of this is how one goes from beginner to advanced movements. But first, please share, like, and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, we have a link in the description. So settle in because we're starting right now. This concept is very common among advanced dancers in a social setting, so you can find examples of this in nearly any social dance. But I've chosen three dances to help illustrate the point, starting with this dance featuring Fadi Fusion and Veronica Lopez. The first example is subtle, while the next is less so. Fadi leads Veronica into a sedenta turn, placing her left hand behind her back, then creates a hard break for an elastic kind of feel in that left hand indicating to Veronica that her direction is changed. He has also sidestepped to her right to give her a clear path for the direction change and himself move to the position she was in. That's here. Notice leads the clear high line and clear low line. The focus here for the follow, and it should be for anyone trying to learn this, is the low handhold because lead always comes from the midpoint. You're going to see that here, as Fadi begins his hook turn to his right, he creates a tugging or pulling feel in Veronica's left hand. It is that sensation that informs Veronica as to her direction. She knows that she is being brought back to her original position, but in a circular motion. You can see here, leads, that Fadi keeps the hand near his midsection for the duration of the count. That's good leading, leaving her high hand, the right, at his neckline for just a moment to reconnect with it as he gets to the position she was originally in. Very well done. The next one is a little more energetic and difficult to complete but with a partner as hair trigger as Veronica, not so much. It begins with a simple inside turn to check with Fadi's left, Veronica's right. Notice that as soon as Veronica passes Fadi's body, he lowers his hand from her back just slightly to place it to her left side, just below the rib cage. Doing it at this point is ideal, in the sense that it keeps your partner within your arm's reach. In addition, it's an acceptable area of touch on the lady. This tight hold prevents Veronica's turn from completing, resulting in a standard check. Here's where it starts to get good. As Fadi begins to step around her right side, he releases her right hand, his left, and uses said left to collect her left arm, so he can place it behind her back. You can see here, leads that he connects with her arm just about at the elbow, and slides his hand down her arm to collect her hand while guiding it behind her back. At the same time, he used his right arm that was wrapped tightly across her midsection to send her back on the line creating space for him to move and indicating a clear path for Veronica. Veronica, being an experienced dancer, styles her right arm down and back in a circular motion as the upcoming turn begins. Leads notice that Fadi still has both hands on her, and he uses his right hand hold to give a little extra push to Veronica. This could indicate to the follow that the upcoming turn is a multiple, not a single. I wouldn't say it's mandatory to accomplish this, but helpful. As Veronica's turn begins, Fadi first aims her hand downward to eliminate her elbow from the equation, and then raises the arm up over his head as he turns to his left, essentially sneaking in a turn for himself in between hers. As her first turn is complete, Fadi passes both of their left hands over his head and reaches off to his left and back, aiming for Veronica's midpoint, and in doing so indicates a continuation of the turn for Veronica, which she happily does. He guided her hand in the direction he intended for her to face, and she followed that direction perfectly. Fadi then passes the hand over his head to lead her from the check to a walk step to the other side. You can see here leads that Fadi maintains the center of the line as Veronica passes him. Here's an example with Ezgi and I that kind of begins the way the last one with Fadi and Veronica ended. I lead Ezgi into an inside turn to check with my left to her left. On the way out, I pass the hands over my head just as Fadi did, but I wanted to create another inside turn which would be counterclockwise. So using the handhold that I had, I first lead Ezgi past me on the line as I maintain center. I guide her hand down to provide direction because as I said before, lead comes from the midpoint. Once she has passed me, I bounce the handhold back up over my head as I turn to my left. Using the momentum I have created in the handhold, I swing the hand downward toward Ezgi's midpoint with a bit of a push to indicate to her that I was hoping for a completed inside turn. Once I see her back, I know she felt the lead and I can reach to pick her up for a 360 cross body lead. Speaking of midpoint, Here's that point in the video where I ask for audience participation. All you gotta do is click on the like button below. And if you haven't already, 
subscribe to the channel. Doing both is completely free to you. It's a huge help to me. And if you like this content, you'll get alerts on all my upcoming videos designed to improve your Latin dance experience. So please share, comment, like, and subscribe. Next, we have a couple of examples of following the hands in this dance with Mario and Judith. This first one is a basic but effective example, showing the benefits of fundamental leading techniques. From a wrapped position, Mario leads a right hand turn with Judith's left hand in his left hand, low at the waistline. He collects her right hand with his right in front and immediately pulls with his left hand to create a change in direction for Judith during the prep, the steps of 671. This is an example of lead coming from the midpoint again, but the next part is what I want to focus on. Watch his right hand. Did you see that? He used his right hand at her shoulder and pressed firmly forward. Doing this gave Judith a clear picture as to where she is heading on the line. It could appear to casual view that Mario is using his left hand low to pull her across. But that's not where the lead comes from here. Another tip I always tell my student leads is that it's a good idea to keep lead as close to the torso as possible. In having his right hand on her right shoulder, Mario was able to easily guide Judith forward on the line into a walk step. In the last example, Mario gives Judith a double crescent spin, which is from his right hand to her left. The first spin led with fingertips pressed into her palm, the second with his wrist. Doing this compels Mario to turn to his left at the tail end of her second spin. You can see leads that Mario has his left hand already behind his back, ready to collect either her free right hand or her left, which he is holding. Notice follows that her eyes are up, but notice this. As he gently releases her left hand, aiming it downward into his waiting left hand, her eyes follow the hand, quite literally. See? Eyes up, but she isn't making eye contact. Mario is facing away from her. Her eyes follow the hand as it drops into his waiting left hand. This is one of my favorite types of movements to do. I love creating quick changes of direction on the floor. The left hand across her body creates a press line on the counts of 671, which changes Judith's direction to go back down the line she came from. The inside turn leads to a check with this cool little ending where Mario implies an inside turn, sending her forward. But with his right hand to her shoulder, Mario prevents the inside turn from completing and instead sends her down the line behind her, resulting in a type of progressive or clockwise turn. You can see that she wasn't expecting it by the giggle and smile on her face as she goes into the next crossbody lead. So those are a few examples of how the concept of following the hands lays the groundwork for intermediate and advanced movements. And that's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to support the channel, here's a link that you can scan. I do these videos for you, and you can help me to give you what you want to see if you share, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, and hopefully very soon, on the dance floor.